What's going on guys? It's the Poster64 back here with another exciting Godzilla video for you. Guys, today we're taking a look at the Neon City Godzilla Funko Pop from Walmart. This is an exclusive to Walmart. I'm not sure if they started servicing in stores. I finally had my order ship from Walmart.com after having a bunch of weird complications. I purchased it like three months ago, but turned on the in-stock notifications for when it got back in stock. I got an email saying it was back in stock like probably five days ago or something. So I reordered and that order shipped immediately. My original order still has yet to ship. So I guess that one's just gonna get canceled. But I had an order come in. This is the Neon City Godzilla. Let's take a quick look at the packaging, guys. So pretty simple, similar to the rest of the Godzilla Funko Pops. This one is 1015. Uh, um, Walmart has a sticker down here on the bottom. Spin it around, you got the Neon City Godzilla on the side. The whole line listed on the back. I've still yet to get the regular 10 inches in the mail yet. My Entertainment Earth order for those is being very strange. If any of you guys want to take these, take a picture of this and bring it into your Walmart, they should be able to check if the figure is gonna be in stock in their store anytime soon. So feel free to snap that barcode and take a take a picture of that and bring it into your store as well but we have the box out here before i kick it out here it stands over I mean, it's not even in the shot it's too big it stands over a foot tall probably about 12 and a half almost 13 inches tall for the box i just want to quickly scale the box with a couple others this is the the bam exclusive godzilla so this is the six inch godzilla and here is the standard 3.75 inch Funko pop so this is a huge box it's 10 inch Get these boxes back out of the way. Scoop this guy over for you and we'll take a look at our Neon City Godzilla figure. This guy's super cool. Definitely glad I ordered two of them, one to keep in the box, one to take out and display on the shelf because you definitely don't get the full glory of this figure while he's sitting in the box. So definitely some awesome detail. The spines look awesome. I love the way his tail curves around, looks really good. The seg each segment of his tail look really nice. The, the glow is super cool. I wish I had the, the standard 10 inch to compare them to because you know pose, pose wise, I believe they're exactly the same. It's just that this one has a far different paint job on him. There he is with the light glow on him. The toe claws look really nice. And the hand claws look really good. He's got some really good deal for this being a Funko Pop. About $29.95, I think, at Walmart. Very good. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and link the online. or I'm going to go ahead and link him online down below. So if he's out of stock, just turn on the in-stock notifications so you can get him in, so you can get a note of email as soon as they have more. I would not give up hope and pay the crazy prices on eBay that he's going for. I've seen him go from anywhere from like 75 to over $300 in the last couple of weeks alone on eBay. So I would, unless you're really desperate to get him and you can find him for a decent price online, I wouldn't give up hope for snagging him at Walmart. We'll go ahead and bust out the ruler, check out some measurements on this guy. So he's a pretty big one. They call him the 10 inch Funko Pop. Uh, really, the nine inch mark is here. This, this is our nine inch. So he's really about eight, eight and some, almost nine. Width wise, he's pretty, he's pretty wide though. If you go ahead and go from the claw to the end of the tail, sets it about the eight. So he's about a, you know, eight by eight almost figure. Gets you kind of a, a feel for how, how big he is. We'll scale him up against a couple other Funko Pops. I do have an out of box, bam, exclusive Godzilla with the cool purple glow on the back. So that's how he stands up against your six inch. And then here's how he stands up against the standard size Funko Pop, the 3.75 inch. And that's just the regular Godzilla from the same line of figures. Just for the heck of it, I decided to grab the uh, the Burning Godzilla from SH Monster Arts from King of the Monsters. So this is just how he's going to, if, if you, for ever, whatever reason, I don't know why you'd want to do it, but if you ever wanted to pose him up against you know, your standard as it wants to watch NECA, Bandai, any of those size figures. He's going to be a bit big. If I grabbed an 8-inch figure, he'd be standing about even. But obviously, the Funko Pops are made to look all anime and deformed. So they're not going to really scale with anything. 
They're more just kind of for display in box or out of box with uh, just other stuff like them. So, so try to pair them with anything else would be a little awkward. But guys, I just wanted to show this guy off. Get him, get a couple of good, good, good shots of him. Looks like we have one little minor paint thing on the back, but that's not too big a deal. But I just wanted to get some good shots of him for you guys. Let you check him out. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Have you gotten your order yet? Have you ordered them? Are you good to order them? Are you avoiding the Funko Pops, or what do you, where, where do you stand with uh, with this guy? I personally was super excited about him, and getting him has only made me more excited. I am super psyched to have this guy. Great detail, looks awesome. If you're a crazy person like me, I'd get one. <laughs> I'd get one for inbox, one for out of box, because obviously the Funko Pops are nice to keep in box. That you know, stack them up or stack them up and show them like that. But this guy just looks so cool. I would hate to not be able to see him out, out of the box. It's definitely worth having one for out of the box. So guys, please please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And then yeah, let me know in the comments below. Have you picked this guy up? Are you waiting on your pre-orders? Are you gonna pick him up? Are you waiting for prices to come down? Or do you just not, collect, not like collecting Funko Pops? Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.